Yeah, okay. So the only thing that I've not asked her about her is how did she get into radio in the sense, what did she practice? So I want to know, did you practice standing in front of a mirror like actors do and do uh, make faces and all that? Did you do that or uh, did you just... Not in front of the mirror, uh, but generally I used to keep talking. If I come across any news, interesting news, then I'll give a lot of twist and take to it, like how to present like it in different Like straight out of the newspaper? Huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, generally what I'm observing on the road when I'm driving or something like and that. And who do you do this to? Uh, myself, I just keep oh, running it over my oh, mind. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And but uh, professionally, how to do it? Uh, before I joined Big FM, they actually gave a training for around two months. Mm. And uh, audition come training. So we were audition, and the training happened simultaneously. Okay. This happened at Maika Ahmedabad. All right. So what does Maika stand for? Mudra Institute of Communication. Oh, Ahmedabad. that one. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So. Yeah. So it was very nice. Uh, so actually, when you when you do these things on your own, like you're practicing on your own, I mean, do you ever do it on your scooter when you're on the road or something? Yeah, I, but I don't talk aloud. Oh, well, people think you're a crazy uh, woman. Yeah. Here's this crazy girl just going by mumbling to herself. Uh, that I don't do, but it uh, keeps running in my mind. So do you model yourself on someone? No, not like that. You developed your own unique style? Yeah, uh, that your, I know. Uh, I've heard style. a lot of people tell me the way I talk Tamil, my slang and my voice is pretty different. Yeah, so I want to ask you that. How did you get down to getting that absolute street Tamil? Street, yeah. that, actually, that's how I talk Tamil. Uh, many people ask me, radio le pesra madri pesi but that's how I generally talk Tamil. So you're not putting on anything? That uh, comes naturally no, to you? No, no, right from you my... You talk to your mom and dad in the same, same language? Yeah. <laughs> You do? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, because they always said that you've got a very unique uh, style of talking, uh, almost like a guy on the road. Uh, uh, almost that it is the guy on the road, but uh, that's how I talk. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's essential that we get a little sample of uh, how did you, like, let's say any event you can twist around. Uh, like uh, something interesting you saw on the road. Or yeah, uh, like today when I was driving, uh, mm. I saw this, uh, we have these drainage covers in Chennai where it's either two meters under the road or two meters above the road, it's never <laughs> yeah. on the same level. Yeah. So all of a sudden if we don't know, if you've been on the road, we know uh, th there are There's potholes over up. there and we'll navigate accordingly. Yeah. But if it's uh, like uh, the rainy season or something like that, then it's gone. So today I saw the, uh, I don't know the corporation people or whoever, they've drawn a yellow circle around these drainage covers. Mm. So I thought, uh, Tamil, uh, shall I tell it in Tamil? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and the drainage moody all that, and the curry all that, sorry, panna all that. Generally, all that code board road board no mangga. And the corporation all that, irigra road all that, all that vidhu vidhu ma code board richir grangga. So I was like, no, I think next the next level will be they'll put all those reflector lights around it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're driving, you can see all that and drive safely. In the rainy season, I think it'll be the usual story. Damn good. So then uh, you're actually giving them crazy ideas, you know? Yeah. They might just do you it. You might, yeah, you <laughs> might see. Next time you fall head first into one of those things, it'll be one of your smart ideas. <laughs> yeah. Put stick reflectors. So almost anything it. can be made into a conversational thing on radio. Yeah, definitely. So is that how you develop your scripts or whatever? Uh, the, that my scripts are completely, I don't depend upon a producer or anything. I actually feel better if I choose the topic. So I don't have any restrictions as such. But mostly I like to deal with, uh, you know, general topics. Uh, uh, non-movie related topics. Oh. So I like it that like way. Like how would you, how, how would you say non, you're playing music, film music all the time. That we can relate. Before we start the link, we can tell, this song was sung by this person, so and so has written the song, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You're listening to the station, blah, blah. And then mm. we can move into the topic. It, it need not necessarily be only movies. So it's personal experiences? Huh, that also we can do. Mostly? Yeah, not mostly. Uh, mostly I deal with uh, whatever you come across in the newspaper, the car current, uh, what are the cities talking about currently? Okay. So right now it must be about the movie that was uh, blocked. Yeah, that's blocked. So you can talk about it. And so what would you like what would you have to say about like this instance where we have Vijay's movie not making the theater for whatever reason? We nobody knows why. But hmm. uh, what would you say about it that uh, which will be non-controversial or whatever? No, I think uh, anything that is to be said about it cannot be non-controversial. The entire <laughs> topic is controversial. So yeah. whatever we mention about it will okay, be Okay, let's say, about, suppose you're on radio now and you just, um, somebody calls and says, Hey, why aren't we hearing Vijay's new song? What would you say to them? No, the song is going on here. Eh? <laughs> so oh, the song is going on. Yeah, the songs so what have been the going on eh? you'll say? The only thing is that the movie is not on the screens for reasons. <laughs> 
is so political things you just generally stay out if it is political uh, or if it's not political how does it matter you somebody asks you why this movie was not released so why couldn't you just say something about it uh, as long as i'm working for another corporate company i have to also see to that i do not get the company into trouble okay so, so that is there well saying something about this particular thing would you consider that putting your company in trouble by asking uh, way how come that you that's what you never know so your your how, bosses will you tell never you? know how it will turn out Okay. Like see I think even uh, actor Dhanush had recently tweeted something about the movie or said something about the movie okay. what he said was something else and how it got conveyed was something else and he had to tweet that that oh, was not his intention oh, so he had to retract his statement yeah like so many things uh, happening about so there's a good chance that whatever you say will get misinterpreted but we, like when Vishwarupam was not released we did talk about it we didn't take any sides Yeah, I mean that's unnecessary. In any no case, you don't know. No subjective, no yeah. subjective opinions. Objectively, we can talk about it. That's good. In any case, you don't know the real truth. Who, ah, nobody knows. Yeah. So why get into that area? We had even it? spoken about Kudam Gulam. People tell that was a very controversial topic. True. The only thing is, as an RJ, I did not uh, create any subjective opinion. Okay. But I let the listeners talk whatever opinion they had. So okay. some people supported it. Some people. So all this you manage. in middle of playing film yeah, songs yeah in the middle of the songs that's yeah. was actually one of my favorite shows because there were like common people like auto drivers and all of them calling in yeah calling in to talk about and the points that they mentioned were relevant and not inaccurate points these were all common people talking and and do you do you, are you actually live on these kind of films no callers are mostly differ live i think in most of the radio stations but the reason like is how because uh, around 5 or 6 minutes oh that long that's because we have to edit the calls so that it also sounds nice to the rest of the listener some people go like ah uh, um, yeah humming and hawing yeah and so that may not be that interesting for the other listeners okay and, so we and just the occasional edited bad language ha huh, that's one of the other reasons and also some people tend to mention some other stations name which is ah uh, which is <laughs> not good for any any media company okay all right yeah, so you'll cut all those references out uh, yeah. or you just black is all color and it could also happen like they come on air and say something against the ruling party or something like that or any were unnecessary things ha huh, so basically. that's the only reason so that discussion is yours or the man who's sitting on the final button i do the editing oh so you do everything yourself yeah uh, yeah exactly so your show is not going on live straight away what i talk goes on air live but the callers are mostly deferred live oh okay yeah. Okay we also want to know what it's like when you're actually on radio I mean what do you do you push buttons is that you want to just yeah, give us a little demo of what you do demo uh, generally that's a console in front of us okay. so for separate faders for songs for us to talk and um, most important is that on air button okay so you have a light to something tells you yeah, that you are live on yeah and if it's on. live we have to be more careful because sometimes it happens that the live button is on and if we switch on the mic then whatever we talk goes on air directly so okay. that's the only thing we have to be very careful about the rest comes with practice it is almost like a play pause button you pause you talk you play and the next event goes on air. and the and the songs no uh, so there's a song so that you know depends upon the software used in each radio now, station now how does the song start one thing about your mic and you coming on and off huh. but the song coming in when it's it's like your windows media player you know imagine you have a media player you pause okay. you talk something and you play and the next song goes oh so the the songs are queued the, the up. indications are there so when the song is about to end uh, you have the counter 10 9 8 7 i think it's there in most of the softwares okay so as it comes towards the end uh, as soon as the song ends it will be nice you know if you don't give a 5 or 10 second gap in between like nothing is on air mm. so as soon as the song ends if you go on air it will be very nice to listen to so okay. that's you heard it from the boss <laughs> she's been doing it for years <laughs> so that's how it works she does whatever she said she's doing and it's not like you know when you're listening to a song or the ads are going on and we're simply sitting in the you know Chair. studio uh-huh. um i don't know it depends from each artist to rj some people you know after they finish what they say, yeah they get up they walk they jump okay. some people sit uh, mostly what i do is i get ready for what i'm going to say next so you know rehearse it in your head yeah that definitely happens because what happens is one or two three times you keep saying it and sometimes you'll get a different angle you know it's so catchy it's ah. all uh, you know how you play with words that's true sometimes you can use rhyming words now these things and all you can't prepare beforehand it all so happens so you already said you, you say this macha machi all that stuff which i hear all the time on radio is that part of your language i have never used macha na machi mostly boss sollunga sir madam all oh. that it's better to use the listener's name it will uh, give a more personal connect to them so now we've been hearing how she at least she's been describing how she goes about it let's get a, a live sample of how she would incorporate something that's happening into her announcement so you want to give us a little sample of what you do 
குங்கி படத்துல இருந்து யுக பாரதியோட வரிகள்ல இமானோட செயல அந்த பியூட்டிஃபுல் சாங் கேட்டிங்க இப்போ நீங்க கேட்டிருக்கிறது ரம்புல் எஃப் எம் கீப் ரம்ப்ளிங் ஸோ அடுத்த இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டே வருது அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒரு நாள் ஃப்ரைடே வேற இருக்கா ஸோ அன்னி லீவ் போட்டோம்னா ஒரு செம்ம பெரிய வீக்கெண்ட் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் அதுக்கு நடுவில் நீங்க யோசிக்கிறதுக்காக ஆனால் நல்ல இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டே பாகிஸ்தான்லேருந்து டைம் கிடைக்கும் போதெல்லாம் அவங்க வந்து சொல்றாங்க கீழே ஸ்ரீலங்காவில் டைம் கிடைச்சா அவங்க சொல்றாங்க இதுக்கு நடுவில் சைனாவில் வந்து அவங்க வந்து உள்ள வந்து தங்கிட்டே போறாங்க அதான் இருக்கிறதுல பெஸ்ட் இந்த மாதிரி அற்புதமான டைம்ல ஹாப்பி இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டே அடுத்த ஒரு சமபாடு வந்துட்டு இருக்கு ஆனால் அதுவும் இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் டேங்க எந்த சம்மந்தமும் கிடையாது இது ரொம்ப ஃபேம